All right, everyone, we're live on Facebook, so uh, welcome to the call. And for Hi, those, of, those of you that are watching, um, you know, uh, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, give us the heart, the like sign, um, you know, and, and just let us let us know what you think. It's always it's always fun to hear feedback on on what we're doing and 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 how we're doing. So um, <clears throat> welcome to all the panelists and, and uh, thanks for being here with us today. Thanks Thank for inviting you. Me. You bet. So, you know, Katie, I'm going to let you introduce kind of um, everybody that's on here, and uh, and then if you could uh, just kind of give a brief description of of uh, what what uh, you know what you're going to cover, and then I'm going to bring on the um, the the presentation while you're doing that. Okay, great. Okay, so we've got um, Ian Chappelle on the call. So welcome, Ian. Ian's um, from Melbourne. If you want to say hi to everyone, Ian. Hi everyone, welcome to the call. <laughs> uh, we've also got Marsha Schultz. Um, she's uh, got her own Facebook page, Healing Autoimmune Naturally, and is writing a book. And she's also um, very excited to be on the call too. Sure I am. Hi everyone. And we've also got Margaret, who seems to be busy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, come to the camera. <laughs> um, Margaret Lilborn. Now, Margaret's from Sydney, Australia. And um, actually, Margaret's organising an event coming up at the end of the month. So uh, maybe she could quickly mention that. Margaret's also a member of the Australian um, Council for Sizzle. If we can get her to pop her face on. No, All right, we'll, we'll come back to her in a second. Okay, yeah. so today, okay. today we. I'm happy to just sat in the call, but I can't put, put, but I can't use the video today. Okay. Okay, no worries. Okay. All right, no worries. So we've got the um, today we wanted to share with you the Sizzle system, and this is from the new uh, Sizzle distributor kit. So when you actually get started uh, with Sizzle, you purchase as a distributor, you get the distributor kit. And in this kit, we've got a PDF, um, well, sorry, not a PDF, a, a brochure, and uh, you can get it as a PDF. Obviously, that's what we're showing today. It's called the Sizzle System, and it's about getting started with Sizzle, a hands-on guide to starting your Sizzle business. So I thought it would be really fun today to go through this and um, just have people um, add some comments in and just uh, contribute to the conversation regarding the steps that are involved in helping someone get started. And then once we've finished going through the Sizzle system, Dr. Kurt's going to talk a little bit about uh, Sizzle's fantastic product, Eternity. So, you yeah, bet. Kurt, you Katie, can you see that screen all right? Fantastic. All right, great. You know, I, and like Katie was saying, the system, it's really, it's, it's a great way when you bring somebody on board, remember that none of us are, are really, we weren't born to be network marketers. We weren't born... To, to do this industry. And, and so that I think is what the difficult part for a lot of people when they get started is, is really knowing what to do. They're used to traditional business. You know, you go to the grocery store and you know, you need a loaf of bread, you know, that you need some, um, you know, uh, vegetables and, and whatever, whatever else you buy and you buy it and you go home. They don't have to, they don't have to have somebody standing outside there and going, Hey, this is bread. You know, this is this is uh, this is lettuce. These are tomatoes. And and um, what makes network marketing totally different is in a good network marketing company, you have products that are unique. They're unique to the marketplace. And so you have to have a system of being able to share it. Think of it like show and tell. You learned it when you were in kindergarten. You learned it when you were in first and second grade. And and so um, I think that's really important to add. Don't you think, Katie? Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Thank you, you know, and uh, and so as we're as we're doing um, our business, as we're building our business, um, think about that. Hang on one second. It takes a while for this to upload onto my computer. Page two there. And and so you can see on page two, it's just really it's a welcome page. It's, it says, you know, to your new distributor, it says, congratulations on making your first step to taking back your life. And that's a powerful statement. 
That's a powerful statement. And when it says you joined Sizzle at the right time, I mean, and, and so if, if I was just joining you, Katie, it'd be very important for you to read these statements to me to say, you know, this is a statement from the company. Congratulations. You've joined at the right time. We're experiencing wild momentum. And so, you know, if you could, if, if, if you and maybe some of the other guests could, could really explain why it's the right time. And, and like they see here, your first 48 hours are the most crucial time in building your business. I, if, you, if all of you on the panel want to jump in and maybe add something to that. Right. Ian, do you want to comment? Yeah, the first 48 hours are really important because um, you know, you've usually got the, the, the person is pretty excited about the products you've introduced to them. And, and it's really important to actually follow up on all those sorts of things to make sure that they know where they're going with it, to know how to use it, all those sorts of things. So 48 hours is really important to keep them on board. Yeah, great. Yeah, and uh, I think the congratulations is really important. Um, Kurt, Ian, Marsha and Margaret and for everyone listening. I always like to congratulate people. I'm, I think it's a great uh, decision to get started with Sizzle. It's a great decision to start using our products that can really enhance and are potentially life-changing. And so really a congratulations is definitely deserved. Yeah. You bet. And the other, the other thing is too, um, Katie, when you're reading this page to them, it's not just, it's not just, Katie telling Kurt, hey, this is what we got. Now, all of a sudden, we got a company brochure that um, that uh, validates it. And validation is really important. I remember in my clinic, I used to take things like this, and I would laminate them. And I would laminate, and, you, and some of you might be laughing, thinking, well, what's lamination going to do? It's amazing what lamination does to, to validation. It makes people, they, they go, oh, wow. I mean, if Kurt's laminating that, it must be important. <laughs> yeah. Great. First 48 hours is critical to launching your business. And this uh, guide is uh, step by step for success. Dramatically increase your results, help you um, invite people, present the opportunity, follow up and get started right. That's right. And then this is a great place to point out that, that you're going to help them build their business, right? Because I think a lot of people get into network marketing and they think that you're going to do the work for them. And what you have to point out, um, who was that that pointed it out uh, to us, uh, Katie? Was it Eric Worre that pointed out that, that you really yeah. have to stress that we will help you work your business, build your business, but you yeah. have to build your business. We're here to help. Yeah. That's what page three here. Hang on. There we go. Discover your dream. Well, I really love this one. Step one, discover your dream. You know, what is your dream? What do you want to achieve with your business? Um, it's very specific and personal to the person, personal to you. And, uh, you know, this page actually suggests having a dream board. And, you know, it's really good to have a dream board and place your pictures and uh, what your goals are on it. So you've got it, uh, you know, you've always got that visual cue and it can really help to motivate you. And, uh, you know, also writing down what your goals are and your dreams. Um, Ian, do you want to comment a bit on this? Because I know you're big on dream boards. Yeah, we, well, when we were, when Marg and I were doing the, the previous company, one of the things about a dream board is that you you gather photos, you gather all the things of your dreams and you put this photo board up in some very visible place in your house. And what you do is that you look at it every day and sometimes you add a little bit to it. You know, you might think, well, I need to just fine tune this. So you put, maybe you want a car, maybe you want a house, maybe you want something else in the, in the room. You may want a holiday. So you take those particular brochures or dreams and you put them on the dream board. And when you watch something every day, it's amazing how your subconscious will take this in and actually move you forward towards it. So dream boards are really important, you know. Great. Sorry, it's yeah. amazing. I was just um, gonna add on the whole on the whole um, idea of a dream board, you know, Ian, you're exactly right. It, it's so important 
but it, it, it gets you thinking about it. So like, I remember when I, when I, um, when I, I'll, I'll talk about when I quit smoking cigarettes, I used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. And, uh, and so I, I decided that when I, when I quit smoking, I was going to buy myself a convertible. And then I decided um, that I was going to buy myself a, a convertible Mustang. And I start, then I started looking at different Mustangs. And I went out and I test drove different ones until I figured out exactly what I wanted. <coughs> and, uh, and now not only did I have the picture of it in my mind, but I actually had a picture of the actual car that I wanted. I had the color picked out. I had, you know, the engine picked out that I wanted. I could hear it. I could feel it because I'd actually sat in the car. I mean, I'd opened the hood. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd driven the car. I knew what it felt like. And what happens is, is that, so you you, you start reaching your goal and you're thinking about, man, this is what I'm going I'm to get. So it, it's kind of that motivation. It's kind of like, you know, like, like the, uh, the dog race where you put the, you know, the, the, the rabbit in front of the, uh, um, in front of the, in front of the dogs to get them to, to chase the rabbit. And, and that's, that's really what the dream board does. And it, and it gets you thinking about it enough that pretty soon your thoughts become real. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. It's been 30 years since I smoked a cigarette and, and I don't, you know, so many people, they, they quit and they crave them. I don't crave them at all. And I think it had a lot to do with the way that I quit using dream boards and, and, and that. So if anybody else wants to comment on, on things where they've used a dream board, I mean, um, um, Margaret or Marsha, have you ever yeah, used I love board? my dream boards. Absolutely love them. And you know, this all comes back to, uh, the secret and the law of attraction. Uh, so if you haven't seen the documentary, the secret, I highly recommend it because that's where I get a lot of my motivation from when it comes to, um, you know, making my dreams and goals come true. And the dream board is definitely something I've had for a very long time. And, uh, and I'm talking 10 years. Um, and some of those things are still on my dream board. So, but I, I really, really encourage you to not give up because what a dream board actually does is as you look at those pictures and you have to believe that it's possible for you because if it's possible for your neighbor or, you know, a, a friend or uh, a family member, it's possible for you as well. So it's just the limits that we place upon ourselves that don't allow us to have those things. Um, so, you know, I actually did go for a drive in the car that, um, that I want to buy and that's becoming a, a reality really soon in the next 12 months I'm sure and there definitely were times where I thought that it wasn't going to uh, become a reality but I, I never gave up I just never gave up I knew that it was going to happen I could feel it I could see it um, I was excited about it but the other thing that's that's quite interesting when you put all this in place is that um, you you actually change all your habits um, you, you change the way that you speak to people, you change the way you think about yourself and the world and others, and you become more compassionate and, and empathetic and you start to attract uh, opportunities. And, and of course, in our case, it's sizzle. Um, so that, that's, you know, we're not in charge really of, of the path that's going to take us to our success until we come across it. We don't know what it's going to be um, often. And I certainly never thought that it was going to be sizzle. Um, but here I am. So that's, that's what a dream board has done for me. And, uh, and you know, being grateful, uh, thinking about three things that I'm grateful for every single day, um, or, you know, actually, it's something I do all day every day now. Um, you know, because I've been so sick, as you know, I, I'm just so incredibly grateful for life and the blue sky and the birds that, that I hear singing. And, you know, a lot of people that just roll their eyes and they go, Oh, my God, you know, but, but really, when you've had your life flash before your eyes, and you you think you're not going to make it that those things are really really special so um you know gratitude is definitely something that um has been a very big part of my my journey and helping others and being kind and and all that and i think that you know if you put those pictures on your dream board it's just amazing just what what changes in your life because if you feel like you can't attract those things in your life at the moment the person that you are with the circumstances that you're in you, those, those will change. They will automatically change. And you need to give it time. You need to surrender that to the universe and, and just, just ask, show me how. You know, we're not in control of some, Sometimes we're not in control of how our journey, um, you know, unfolds. So um, be open, you know, open your heart. That's right. So that, that's my contribution. Excellent. 
That's right. You're exactly right, Marsha. <laughs> and I'm, we're so grateful that you, uh, that you uh, joined us and had the results that you did too, because what an amazing story. You can, you can change the lives for a lot of people. You know, and, yeah. and then, it, then it really comes down to, <clears throat> now you're going into a business and it's really, um, it's a business of helping people. I think a lot of people have this misconception that network marketing is about selling, selling products and, and that mm. um, your, your inventory is actually the list of people that you have. And if you don't have anybody to talk to, um, then your inventory is down. I mean, it'd be like, it'd be like that guy selling hot dogs at the baseball game. If he doesn't have any hot dogs in his hot dog stand, he's not going to sell any hot dogs. And in this case, your, your uh, inventory is the people that you have. So, you know, if you guys want to comment a little bit about, you know, how do you go about building your list? How do you go about adding people to your list every day? Because you, you want to have your inventory so high that you never run out. Yeah, well, you know, I think people uh, feel it's hard to make a list and they don't know who to put on, on it. You know, a great place to start is uh, pull out your phone and look at your social media contact list. I mean, look at your contacts on LinkedIn. Look at your contacts on Facebook. Look at your contacts on Instagram. Um, you know, most people have one or a few of those platforms and they've got a ton of connections on there. So there's a bunch um, of people you can already put on your list. Yeah, you know, I, I think, I think that, uh, sorry. Oh, I think in terms of having a list, um, everybody you meet can be a potential one, can be a potential candidate. All you need to do is just basically talk to them and see what their pain points are, what they want to change in their lives. And you don't, and um, the traditional network marketing, I know, you know, you make a list of your friends and family, but um. I actually think that um, there's a lot of people who want to know what it is we have to share. It's just a question of actually getting out there and telling people about it. Yeah, fantastic. And maybe even, even the route that I'm doing is like actually becoming a bit of a presence on LinkedIn and Facebook and actually having people come to you like attraction marketing. Fantastic. That's what I think. Yeah. Great. Right. I think you've got um, potential uh, customers, distributors, when you go out shopping, when you go anywhere, parties, whatever. One of the important factors is that you actually create a, a bit of a rapport with people, first of all. Yep. And then you usually find that during that rapport period or during that discussion period that you find they've got needs, they've got little problems or whatever. And it's really easy to just to introduce some things that may help them. And uh, uh, over the years, I think uh, Marg and I's success has been if you're somebody's within a you know an arm's length of you and they've got want to have a chat with you, you, know, you you go in there and you actually find out a little bit about them. And uh, you know, there's a there's an instance where uh, I'll just talk one about Marg, where about 20 years ago we were in a supermarket and this lady rocked up with with some newborn twins. Anyway, this particular lady, because Marg loves babies. So uh, anyway, she, she went up to and said, you know, good and guard about the twins and whatever, and got a little chat. And what happened then was that this lady, um, she started to discuss that she had a little challenge with the, with the twins. You know, the, the, the particular babies had some sort of a skin discondition and um, so anyway, Marg uh, talked about it for a while and uh, what happened then was that um, that was a great opportunity for, for Marg to actually introduce um, a particular product that was really mild and uh, she said to, to this lady, this is something that might help you, you know, it may, may. So anyway, long story short, the lady actually purchased some of this product um, and within a couple of weeks, I think we might contacted or she had some contact with her again. And there was an absolute change in those twins. There was no more skin irritation. There was no more what. So this is the sort of thing that, that, that happens when you just get out there and you, you probably step into your comfort zone a little bit and you start to talk to people, you know, about an interest. For example, that was the twins, nothing to do with the product at the time. So 
you know, right. you just find the interests and it's really, you know, quite easy to you know, introduce whatever you want to do. Fantastic. That's great, Ian. Thank you for sharing that. Finding common ground is really important, um, like you said. Um, in that case, it was the twins. You know, sometimes people just want to have a conversation. It could be on uh, social media, it could be on the train, public transport or in a shop or whatever. I think just starting a conversation with somebody or helping somebody reach a higher shelf or, you know, just, just anything to start a conversation, um, uh, you know, really, really helps. For, in my case, actually, I have uh, created a Facebook page um, that is uh, separate to my own personal page that I found really helpful. So I'll post all sorts of things on there about um, gut health and, um, uh, you know, autoimmune things because my, it's, it's actually autoimmune related. And, uh, but what I also do is um, I will go to other pages on the internet that are related to health. So it could be like lupus support or fibromyalgia support Australia or whatever. And, and, and I'll, I'll go into those posts and I'll, I'll sometimes just, just mention a little comment about a certain product or what I found really works for me and, you know, now I'm symptom free or, you know, any, anything like that. And people, some people look, you know, you do get the odd person that says, oh my God, there's no cure for that. You can't cure that. Um, and you just, you, I don't even comment on those, but quite a few people say, wow, I'd love to know more about what, what you did to help you. Can you share? Um, and then I often say, look, I'd love to, uh, but it's um, probably a little bit too long to share here. So feel free to get in touch on my page, which is healing autoimmune naturally. And then of course, other people read those comments. Um, so that's, that's where I, I get a lot of people to my page. Um, and then through the posts that I put on, onto my page, um, you know, people then get in touch with me because on my page, there's a button that says uh, to message me. So, you know, a lot of people do message me and want more information. And then I basically just share the, uh, the links that we have access to. Mm. So things like this, like these interviews, um, we did one a couple of weeks ago with Dr. Ross Harty. He's one of eight doctors in the world to have healed autoimmune naturally. So often I say, look, you know, the protocol I recommend for people is backed by this doctor. Uh, and, he, and look, you know, by all means, if you'd like to get in touch with him, I can give you his details. So kind of, um, you know, backs up what we're saying um, because we're not doctors, we're not specialists. But if we, if we can say, you know, that, yeah, this information is backed by like scientists and biochemists. And, and in this case, I'm referring to Tom Maurer. Um, you know, and I'll say I've got access to all that. So, you know, do your own homework and see how you feel about it all. And, um, you know, that, that way they're not just taking it from you. So that's what helps me. Fantastic. <clears throat> that that kind of leads us into this next page, yeah. step three, which is, uh, you know, Marcia, you, 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 you led right into it, developing and sharing your story. And, and it's so important to have your story. And in your case, you know, what a powerful story that you have, right? Sure is, yeah. And, and the thing about it is, is, is this, uh, Marsha, so I think a lot of people, they get involved and they go, oh, no, I, I, can't, I can't go build a business until I have my own story. And they, um, they, they sit there and I know I've, I've tried to tell them, no, 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 you don't want to wait until you have your story. Share Marsha's story. Share yeah. Katie's story. Yeah. Share yeah. Ian's story and, and share other people's story until you do have your story. But become a product of the product at the same time. And then, and then when you're talking about it, like, like Marsha was just saying, when you're talking about anything regarding to sizzle, have a tool in your hand or have a, have a tool ready. Talk about the tool that you have. It might be, it might be a, a digital um, uh, recording. It might be the recording of tonight's uh, a story. It might be a, a simple video of, of, of Marsha or someone else telling their testimonial. And, and you share that with people, but you talk about, here's what it says on here. So now, again, it's all about that third party validation. So, you know, um, yeah. you know, if somebody wants to comment on that. Yeah, I think that's um, really true. I agree 100% with what you're um, saying that, you know, you don't have to wait. We've got so many great testimonials and people's stories that, you know, find one that you're really excited about and by all means share it until you develop mm. yours. But, you know, to develop your own story, of course, the most important thing is purchasing and using the Sizzle products. I mean, if you want to get a great testimonial, you know, they really invite you if you've just gotten started to use as many as the products as possible because, um, you know, be a product of the product. Uh, and, you know, once you've used 
uh, tried all the products, you'll find the ones that you really love and you'll be able to develop more than one story. You'll, I'm sure you'll be able to develop a few. And, you know, people generally do what you do, not do what you say. So I, I think that if you're someone who uses a lot of products, you're also going to attract others who use a lot of products. Um, if you're someone who's just using one product like the toothpaste, you're probably going to attract a bunch of uh, product users just using toothpaste. So I think that's a really important point too. Yeah. Yep. Right. Agreed. We can't put limitations on what other people might do. You know, you might get a customer that ends up purchasing a thousand dollars worth of product a month. That's right. Yeah, and it's not uncommon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then contacting people and introducing them. I think a lot of people they say, "Well, what do you do, Kurt? What do you do?" I had one guy. He said, "I'm going to come and stay with you for a week and just follow you around and <laughs> see what you see what you say to people." And I said, "You're going to be you're going to be really disappointed if you do that." Uh -huh. I said, "Because because I don't have." a script. I don't have a canned script that I say. Um, anytime I meet somebody, it's, it's totally different. And I think that just, that comes with knowledge that comes with, with working with it and, uh, and just really kind of practicing, you know, so many times uh, the average person uh, greets five people a day. They say, Hey, how are you doing? And, uh, and I remember my friend, Dan, he used to tell me, he'd say, he'd say, if you really want to confuse people, just ask them just when they say, how are you doing? You want you confuse them really good by saying, do you really want to know? <laughs> and they're going to go, holy cow, what can of worms did I just open up? <laughs> That's a really good one. I like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, definitely um, asking someone how they're doing, they're going to ask you about how you're doing. Um, you know, and this is now an opportunity to say, you know, I've started my own business and, you know, I think it's a great thing to say. And then you wait because you want them to ask you, if, they, if you say to someone, I've started my own business and they don't go, oh, well, what's your business in? They're not interested. So, um, you know, I think asking questions and listening and knowing, um, you know, when to share and when not to share. Mm. And I think like you just said, Katie, no one went to shut up too, because yeah. in, a com in a conversation, if you ask a question and then you go, ho go ahead and answer the question, you just lost the conversation. If it was a competition, uh, you just lose. And, and, and so when there's silence, the person who, who talks, uh, talks first is the one that, that loses the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like on this slide too, it says, you know, if someone says, how are you doing? It says, I'm doing fantastic. I was recently introduced to a great product um, opportunity that's completely changed my life and I've lost 20 pounds. It's helped me earn some extra income. I can't really complain. How are you doing? Well, I mean, that's a great example. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think a lot of times it's just, you know, and this is this is comes with practice and working with your upline. Um, work with your upline, do three-way calls, uh, get other people's opinion. You know, like I might, I might call up and I, and I'll say, I'll say, Ian, you know, Hey, I just came across something and I'd really like to get your opinion on it. You know, I know you won't have any interest at all. That's why I'm coming to you because you know, I mean, you're going to, you you know, I'm not going to try and sell you anything. Um, but I just want your opinion. Would you, would you watch this video for me and, and let me know? Well, I mean, so I just took and, and I just took the, the sale away from Ian. And so now, now Ian is in the back of his mind. He says, well, how, how dare you take it away from me without even letting me look at it, right? So he's going to go watch it. And it's a, it's a great, powerful way of getting people to, to watch something that, you might, that might, they might not otherwise uh, watch. But it's another great way when you're working with friends of yours because you don't want to try and sell your friends or your family. <laughs> what you want to do is you just say, hey, look, you know, I, I know, Katie, that you're not going to have an interest in this. But would you watch it for me and just give me your opinion? Chances are um, three times out of five, she's going to come back and say, hey, you know, I really was interested in that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I, I think uh, the next point on here is probably the most important out of everything. It's following up. I think it can be quite easy actually to ask someone if they can watch a video or not or watch a look at a link or that. But if you actually don't follow up with them, um, you know, you won't have success. You know, following up with new prospects is just as is critical. And um, 
you know, you want to set a time frame on that too. If you share something with someone, let them know when you're going to get back in touch and check up and and ask them how they found the information. What did they What did they like best? Um, you know, another great question is on a scale of one to ten, how interested uh, are you in this information? I mean, if somebody comes back as a ten on any time you ask that question, they're pretty much ready to get going in ninety nine percent of cases. But uh, it'll help you gauge where they're at in the process. So you know, just because you follow it once. Um, often people require quite a few exposures. It's not until the fifth exposure maybe somebody decides that they're going to actually get started. So um, really important tip in this manual here. That's right. Yeah, couldn't agree with you more, Katie, because, you know, they will do as you do. So you need to teach what, you know, they, they need to know in order to be able to teach the people that they introduce. Absolutely. Mm. And then the, the, there's a tip on the page there too. Ian, do you want to share the tip? Oh, the auto ship program is yeah. a great way. Yeah, the, the auto ship program is really a way to um, actually, if we've introduced them to the to the business uh, and they're sort of interested in getting some income and maybe even getting to, to some free products, then the auto ship enables them to not miss out on any any uh, income that comes from it. Um, it also keeps your interest up in the product too, because you don't want to run out of, like in Liven, for example, one of the, the great products for the bathroom. Um, you get near the end of it, you know, you, then you suddenly realise, I haven't got any of those. So auto ship allows them to keep a, uh, a great product coming in so that they don't uh, miss out on these things. But the other thing is too, is that you, you really need uh, to, to, to understand that this um, auto ship is about keeping keeping the income coming in for you and uh, and that's a really important aspect of, of a business builder for example so, mm. yeah, yeah very good great point Kurt, do you want to go to the next slide yes ma'am hang on <laughs> okay do you want to just meet um, Margaret out a second. Only for a second. There we go. Great. Uh, okay, <laughs> getting connected. Yeah, so we have lots of um, tools that people can connect into. We've got more than the ones listed on the page. I mean, talk to your upline. Talk to the person who introduced you. Um, uh, you know, find out how you can learn about the team office, your back office. You definitely need to learn how to enroll and place orders and um, look at your back office and reports and all of that. I've got some great videos I put together. I've got a getting started playlist on YouTube on the Sizzlers Connect channel. And I've got back office training on all of that listed there. So you can go and watch that and send people there to have a look at it. Um, you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You want to subscribe to Sizzle International's um, YouTube channel and look out for weekly emails. We also, as our team, um, Dr. Kurt puts out a weekly newsletter, uh, which is fantastic. It has all the links to calls and recordings, updated information. So you definitely want to keep up to date with that and share that with your team members so they can stay connected. Sizzle um, International also has a blog. So if you go to sizzle.net forward slash blog, they post all their uh, latest the announcements and information there. So that's important just to keep a track of that. And of course, they've got a Sizzle International Facebook page. We've also got one for Australia. We've got an Australia, New Zealand Facebook page. And Liesl Mauer constantly puts her updates there. Sometimes people say, well, I didn't know about that update, but actually Liesl uh, has put it on Facebook. And, you know, I am aware that not everyone has Facebook. A lot of people aren't on Facebook. Um, but, you know, at the moment that is a main, um, I guess, source of or method of where the actual information goes, at least in the first instance. So it is um, useful to get connected there. Uh, Sizzle International has the Call Connect once a month, uh, the first Monday of every month with the Sizzle Corporate Updates. We have this call every week, um, which is 10 o'clock at Brisbane time, uh, 7 p.m. is at Mountain Standard time. And, seven, uh, seven Central, yeah, Seven Central. Seven Central Friday night, so they're a day behind us. And so we run this call every week to help people um, with training and information and keep up to staff so that they can learn more about their business and how they can achieve success. And the other call, of course, we now have is the Australia New Zealand call, which was uh, at 9 o'clock this morning. Lissel Mao runs those and has guests. And for those of you who are on the call today, congratulations because you received 
some free products. And for those of you who couldn't make it, unfortunately, you don't get the free products. So she's doing fun stuff like that to really encourage participation. Um, so that's really exciting. And then Sizzle also have a WhatsApp call with other updates. And that's generally posted to the Sizzle International YouTube channel. So there's quite a lot of information there. It's a lot to take in. But, you know, you can always go back, make some notes and review it and just, you know, um, take it in bit by bit, just step by step, really. You bet. Well, and you know, Katie, that having all that information, being able to access it is so important. And, and just remember that, you know, when you're being active, listening to videos, listening to uh, online, you know, uh, things like what we're doing right now. Remember, this isn't building your business. This is the work that that's kind of behind the scenes. This is this is the stuff yeah. that that helps you build you, but it doesn't really build your business. And so, the next part of the of the presentation, we really want to talk about building your business. And and uh, first step is is getting that return on your investment. You know that R R O I. And and so, if you got started and and you bought one of the wealth builder packs, you bought you know, a pack that costs you several hundred dollars, of course, you're going to want to get your, your money back. That's step one, because so many people have this idea that it's so expensive to get into business. It, it costs, you know, so much money. And, uh, and they think that, and, and in a lot of cases, when they get involved in network marketing, this industry, they, um, they find that they, uh, they, they actually spend more than they actually receive. So what we want to do is we want to be able to show people that, hey, look, if you got started with a wealth builder pack, let's say it cost you with shipping everything around $400. And so my goal is, is now I'm going to take all of you and I'm going to show you how you can earn that money back within the first, I mean, my goal is within the first 30 days, I want to get you so that you can, you can end the fr end of your first month and you can say it cost me nothing to get into business. Mm -hmm. Great. Sounds good. You know, and, uh, and so, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole compensation plan with that, but just that's your goal is, is when you get somebody started, remember the, I think, I think again, a lot of people think that the work is enrolling somebody. The work starts when you get them enrolled because now you got to help them get their money back. And then, and then, um, you know, the first 30 days, uh, participate in three-way calls um, with your upline or with your downline if you just enrolled somebody. And then try and, and I think talk to 10 people a week in your first 30 days, that's, um, that's not enough. That's not enough because, I mean, uh, statistics say that, that, that um, you know, that, that about uh, 20 out of 100 will join you. So if you talk to 10 people, you're only gonna, you're only gonna get two people to, to join you. And so I think you really, your first 30 days, it's really important to, to talk to more people than that because it's a time when <clears throat> you can share with people that, hey, I just got started with this. I might make a couple mistakes. I might explain things wrong. If you wait until your third, fourth, fifth month and you tell people, oh, I'm still making mistakes, you know, you're going to start losing some credibility. But in the beginning, if you're in the first 30 days, you tell them, hey, I just got started. I make make some, make some mistakes when I talk about this. Um, you know, they, they, they excuse you for it because they, you just got started. So I'll let you guys talk about this a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, we've got, um, you know, participate in a three-way call. We've got Dr. Kurt. He's a great resource for our team. Uh, Dr. Kurt's a wellness consultant. He's a doctor of uh, chiropractic he's been studying age reversal medicine for over 30 years um and he is great with the products i mean kurt knows the products inside out um he can really advise people on what sort of products could support um them going through whatever challenge they're having and so he's available to make a booking you can actually book through the swt team website he's got a booking form there and you can book a time with him and do a three-way call with a new prospect so great, great resource, definitely worth taking advantage of. As Kurt's already touched on, you know, 10, you'd want to talk to more than 10 people in your first month. Uh, you've got your system, uh, your sizzle catalogs in your pack. And then, you know, you also, you definitely want to mention anyone getting started with a business, if they're serious, uh, they would buy, purchase a wealth pack. Um, you know, if you're seriously going to take this on as a business, then you want to uh, make a really good investment and the wealth pack is a great way to get started. And we have uh, three different options with that. And then, you know, um, arranging an event and um, having people over to your house and 
sharing the products is another excellent way, you know, a, a tasting. People um, who generally taste or try a product are much more likely to buy. So that's a great way. Um, if you're fortunate enough to be in Melbourne, I hold those monthly and we've got the next one coming up in two weeks, which is really exciting. And, um, you know, there are sizzle events in your local area, probably. Um, and, you know, Margaret's holding them now in Sydney. We've got them in Brisbane, uh, Melbourne. And, um, you know, if you don't have a, an official meeting in your area, why not create one? You know, it can start with as little as two people. It's just about getting together, um, being consistent, having that um, meeting every month at least and, and monthly, and then, you know, inviting other people along and over time it will grow. Um, so it's just about making a start. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm not going to have a meeting till I know I'm going to get 20 people there. That's really the wrong attitude. You want to have the meeting, uh, you know, as soon as you've got one or two people, you know, start with yourself, start with then a friend and then just build on it. I think that's probably one of the best advice that someone gave me. It was a previous Australian manager told me that. Uh, because he said, you know, Katie, just start having the Melbourne events. Just it doesn't matter how many come, just be consistent. And, um, you know, having a healthy strategy to building your team and identifying both distributors and preferred customers. So generally we like to say, you know, if somebody's not interested in the business, get them cited as a preferred customer. You're going to earn 25% commission on their orders. So this is really um, quite lucrative and it's a great way to generate extra income for yourself. And then once they've liked the products and they're ordering regularly, um, they then, not, mostly a lot of people do decide to actually then turn to being a distributor. So uh, this is just a great way to get them started. Absolutely. Absolutely, Katie. So then we move on to the next 30 days or the first 60 days that you've been in your business, you know, and really um, the goal is, in, in my opinion, now you, you, you've gotten your first, your first initial order paid for. Let's get it set up so that, I, that, you're, that now every time you make a product order with Sizzle, you're paying for it out of your e-wallet. Um, th wouldn't that be nice? You, you never, ever have to pull out your credit card. You never, ever have to pay for a product with your credit card. Um, you always pay for it with your, with your commission check. So, so that's just what you want to do. And, and really, like they say here, with just 15 distributors purchasing the same amount of product that you purchase on a monthly basis, you'll get your product for free. And it, it doesn't mean that you have to find those 15 people. You can go out and find five people who each find three. Now you got your 15 just doing it that way. So, again, um, does anybody have any comments on that slide there? Oh, I think it's self-explanatory, Ian, or... Marsha, Margaret, did you want to add anything? Oh, just the fact that I absolutely love using all of my e-wallet money to buy my product. Yeah. I think it's just absolutely amazing. I remember when I first started with uh, just the age pill and, of course, I was um, severely struggling to even work part-time and, uh, boy, those days have changed. I, um, I've got quite a few people, well, my daughter and a neighbour on the product, the neighbour that can't afford it. So, yeah, it's nice to be able to to help out, uh, but, yeah, to not use my own money so I can start saving a little bit now that I'm back at full-time work is wonderful. Excellent. Congratulations. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then, really, um, when you're building your business, I think this next one is so important. You know, now what you want to do is you want, you want to help people make a lifestyle change. You know, uh, they say here in America – that an additional $500 a month, if we could put $500 a month into every family's bank account, we could save over 50% of the bankruptcies. I mean, think about that. You can save 50% of the bankruptcies by just helping them earn $500 a month. And it's easy with the stuff that we have with Sizzle, with the compensation that plan that we have with Sizzle, it's not that hard to make an additional $500 a month. But Let's say that you want to you want to take your family on that wild vacation. You know, I know Sandy and and Paul are up in 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 Europe right now. They're on a European vacation. It'll be like National Lampoon with Chevy Chase. But uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I mean, it might be it might be it might be driving buying that new Mercedes. You know, a couple. I'll use Sandy as my example again. You know, a couple of years ago, she bought herself a new Mercedes, and and you think about that. With a traditional job, you know, they just, you barely make enough to pay your bills. Just job stands for just over broke. 
yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's and, you right. know, the, it's the $500. You know, um, you have someone talk to them about the business, even if they can't uh, have the vision of having, you know, really big uh, income, you know, talking to them about earning that $500. As it says, it does mean a lifestyle change. Imagine every family having an extra 500 a month to put on their mortgage or pay bills or uh, to put away for vacations. Uh, $500 is a lot. And, you know, this is actually really achievable. Um, it, it's really achievable. It's something that, you know, everyone could do, just set their mind to it and put the steps in place. Uh, it doesn't have to happen overnight, but it's definitely something worth striving for. So, you know, I really love that. Me too. I'll second that. Yeah. And then, you know, and then the next step is help people become a one-star master and a one-star would sizzle. It's kind of mm -hmm. like if you're building, if you're building a brick wall, um, the bricks that we're talking about here are <coughs> one, are one stars. That's, that's our bricks. That's the bricks that we build our sizzle wall with is one star masters. So whenever you build somebody, when you bring somebody on board and they decide that they're going to build a business, your goal is to help them become a one star. Talk about that life changing income that they can get. At that point, they're earning about a thousand dollars a month. And again, like we just talked about, that's a life changing income. Yeah, fantastic. Good. And that's really where the compensation plan really starts to shine as well. And then from there, we look at the rest of the compensation plan. Um, you just, you know, you, you, you master the one star, you master helping people become one stars. And now all of a sudden you sign, you find yourself, you know, collecting the fast start bonus, the direct commissions, the infinity bonuses, the master check matches, the rank advancement bonuses, lifestyle bonuses, uh, commissions, the wealth builder plan, all of these things. And really, you know, folks, people say, oh, that compensation plan, there's so many parts to it. How do I even understand it? You don't have to understand the whole plan. You just need to understand where are you in the system right now, and then let's build from there. If you're if you're at a one star, let's help you go to two star. And how do you get to two star? Well, you help other people become one stars. Yeah, great. And then the last one is our number twelve is getting the commitment. There's a little uh, the last page in the brochure. It's like let's do this. Um, putting down your signature and your date. I mean, what I really like about this little, this last step is that you can actually ask someone, um, you know, hey, Kurt, you know, you're getting started with the business. How much do you want me to um, help you? If you, you know, if you're, if I see I have, you haven't been on the calls for a month or that, do you want me to give you a call and ask you, you know, how are things going and help you get motivated again? Or would you prefer that I just, um, you know, let you sort of, decide for yourself when you're available again. So it's really about, you know, somebody's really committed to the business. They're going to say, no, no, I want you to, you know, um, support me. I want you to hold me accountable. Um, I want you to keep in touch with me and help me follow through with my commitment. So really, I think that's more what this page is about. What do you think, uh, Ian or Margaret Marsha or Kurt? Yeah. yeah. I think if you're going to spend your time, um, you know, helping your team, then you do need some sort of a commitment. Um, your time is as valuable as anybody else's. So, you know, so you make sure that, um, you know, these people are going to be committed. And really, if you put your signature to something, it's a really important thing, isn't it? Like you are actually saying, yes, I'm committed. And uh, that gives you, you know, the confidence that you will go and you will spend the time with these people. Um, very important because, you know, you can, in, in our history, we've spent time with people, but, you know, in the end, you just have to know when it's not not a, a good thing or it is a good thing. So Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, Kurt, I think that was the last step in the slide. That's the last step. And just, you know, like Tom Maurer says here on this, on this last, on this last slide, he says, I believe anyone can succeed in this industry. If you like people, you want to help them, sizzle's the right place to be. That's a quote. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So great. Hang on one second, everyone. And and you know what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um share some information that I was just gathering on um on uh uh resveratrol and eternity. So 
Uh, hang on one second. I'm going to mute you all out so that. Uh, I'm going to channel. Uh, yep. So I'm going to mute that all out and uh, and uh, um, hang on one second here. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, sizzle eternity, and you know. Sizzle Eternity, it's a, it's, a, it's a product made with something called resveratrol. And I just wanted to pull up a, a couple of um, research projects or research articles that, that I keep in my library. I keep a library on, on products because every day I run into people who are sick. They have cancer. They have Alzheimer's. They have autoimmune disorders. They have this. They have that. And, and I don't want to have to search the Internet individually for each for each person so what i do is i keep a library of, of of things on my phone so this is just one of them on my library on my huge library on on resveratrol and so this was from uh, cnn you can see at the top there cnn health so this is this is mainstream media it says for alzheimer's patients resveratrol brings new hope this is november 2015 and uh and so they, they, they go through and they, you know, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but it just says over the years, resveratrol and antioxidant found in grapes, chocolate, red wine has been touted as a possible antidote for Alzheimer's disease, cancer, diabetes, and many other conditions. And so this first study that they talked about uh, with people with Alzheimer's suggests that the compound, when taken in concentrated doses, may actually have a benefit in slowing the progression of this disease. And you can, you can look this article up. You know, it, it's uh, CNN, uh, resveratrol, hope for Alzheimer's patients. You can look that up. But bottom line is, is that the reason that I'm bringing this up is that here's an article that justifies, it adds that per third-party validation to to our product and and i'll talk a little bit about our product because i want people to know that that you can't just you can't just take any resveratrol product um you can't just go out and get a bunch of grapes and stomp on them in your in a bucket and say oh i got resveratrol no it actually it's a little bit different than that here's an article that was published in uh, pharmacology uh perspective and this is from uh, February of 2017, and, and, and it says, you can read that there, the effects of resveratrol and drug and carcinogen metabolizing enzyme implications for cancer prevention. And so resveratrol is a polyphenol found in grape skins and peanuts, and it's been demonstrated with many health benefits, including protection against aiding cardiovascular disease, metabolic disease, and neurological decline and cancer. And the anti-cancer properties of resveratrol have been attributed to a variety of mechanisms, which again, you can, you can download this article if you want to take a look at it, but it, it works with your body's own system to, to improve and support the natural system. And this is the thing that, that you, you all want to learn how to say is that it, it supports and it improves your body system that fights the disease. We're not fighting. We're not treating. We're not curing the disease. What we're doing is we're, we're helping the system so that it, it, can, um, it, can, be, it can be better uh, uh, utilized. Here's another article. I pulled this up because when my brother got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, um, you know, I really wanted to help him. This is from November of 2010. And, uh, and you know, he, he went to Mayo Clinic and the doctors at Mayo Clinic had no idea about this research. And I'm like, holy cow, people, you know, I mean, if I can find it, you can certainly find it. But it says the anti-proliferative effect of resveratrol in pancreatic cancer cells. So it sells, it says that it basically can help the body in its fight for, for working with pancreatic cancer. And, and folks, you know, I'll just tell you, I mean, um, my brother's pancreatic cancer, he's doing great. He, uh, his cancer numbers went from um, skyrocketing to uh, down to a, uh, a um, normal range. And he's just doing great. I saw him last weekend. And, and um, here's another one. Uh, resveratrol on lymphoma, lymphoma and leukemia cells. And again, you know, I had a personal objective for finding this article. My dad was diagnosed with a type of lymphoma. It was a rare form of lymphoma. And the doctors at Mayo Clinic, again, they told him that there was nothing he could do. You know, he couldn't, there was no cure. He was going to be dead in a couple of years. And so I went looking for research. And, and here's the research that I found that uh, resveratrol and lymphoma and leukemia cells. And, and I got my dad taking this and, uh, and, and it helped his body. It helped his body. So he was able to, he was able to fight it. And my dad's been doing great. Um, his, uh, his doctors at, at Mayo Clinic say that um, he's, uh, he's uh, beaten the darn stuff. And, and, uh, and, and then, you know, here's a, here's another one. This is from uh, September of 2018. 
and uh, resveratrol, double-edged sword and health benefits. And it says resveratrol belongs to the polyphenol uh, still uh, benoids group, possessing two phenol rings. And you can go through all that detected. And it's found in grapes, grape skins, grape seeds. It's found in red wine and a variety of, of, of different types of food. But it says that resveratrol possesses a very high antioxidant potential. Resveratrol exhibits anti-tumor activity, and it's considered a potential candidate for prevention and treatment of several types of cancer. I, I presented you with two different types of cancer. Um, indeed, resveratrol anti-cancer properties have been confirmed by many in, in uh, lab and in, in real life, which shows that resveratrol is able to inhibit all carcinogenesis stages, initiation, promotion, and progression. Even more, more bioeffective uh, effects, namely as anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, cardioprotective, vasorelaxant, phytoestrogenic, and neuroprotective. Resveratrol application is still um, being a major challenge for the pharmaceutical engine. Oh, I feel so sorry for big pharma, but due to its poor solubility and bioavailability as well, the adverse effects. So bottom line is this article um, says that, you know, even though resveratrol has uh, great benefits, uh, the problem with it is, is that most resveratrol really doesn't work the way that that, that uh, was described in the first uh, Harvard articles and, and, and things like that. And so now uh, this is where I really want to talk about um, sizzle and I want to talk about eternity. So when they did the original research on resveratrol, they really studied a fresh resveratrol. It had been just freshly uh, uh, gotten from the grapes, the grape skin, the grape seeds, and they did the studies on it, and they found that resveratrol had all of these effects um, that it talks about here. Later on, these doctors are trying to discredit the, the researcher who had the original research on resveratrol, and they, um, they went out and they got resveratrol, and they tried to recreate the studies, and they found out that uh, it didn't work. And <laughs> then the original researcher, he went back and he, he tried to figure out, well, why, why, why did it work for me? Why isn't it working for everybody else? And it turns out that resveratrol is highly oxidative, which means that if it's exposed to air, if it's exposed to oxygen, it uh, degrades really quickly. And so most resveratrol that's on the market, they go out and they, they squeeze these grapes. They take the grape skins. They take the seeds, the roots, whatever they get it from. And, um, and then they take the resveratrol and then they, they put it into these big mixing machines and whatever not that they use. And it's exposed to oxygen. It's exposed to air. And it causes the resveratrol to, to break down. And so when they come out with their product and they, they say, hey, we have one too, us too, look over here, we have one too, and ours is a lot cheaper. Well, you get what you pay for, folks, because when you use a resveratrol that's made in that way, it's lost, uh, it's lost 90% of, of its potential benefits because it just doesn't have the strength anymore. It won't work. It won't do what, what we want it to do. And, and so when Tom um, designed Eternity, he knew about this science. I mean, this guy is super smart, and he, he knows that there's a way of doing things and a way of not doing things. And, uh, and so he made the resveratrol uh, in a way that it's not exposed to oxygen. It's basically uh, contained. It's, it's in a, in a, in a um, uh, protective barrier. And then what he does is he puts it into a, into a, a bottle, a liquid bottle, a liquid uh, product, nutraceutical, that's reverse filled with, with nitrogen. And so as you're putting the as you're putting the resveratrol into the bottle, it's actually pushing the nitrogen out. And then when you cap the bottle, none of the product has been exposed to air. None of the product has been oxidized. And that's why our product is so much better than anything else that's on the market. So, you know, with that, um, you know, I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to open this up and, and, and really unmute all of you and, and, and see, does anybody have any questions, or any comments that you can add? Um, yeah, I'd like to say that um, just hearing you speaking about all that, um, you know, and, and, and uh, giving the information about the resveratrol, I think that every time I listen to you speak or I listen to another, um, you know, live or recording about the products, I learn a little bit more. So at, at first, when I started listening to you, I was thinking, well, 
you know, a lot of new people that might have jumped on today and started listening to you and thinking, oh, my God, I could never learn all that. I don't know all that. But but I was the same. I didn't know all of that uh, information. But, um, you know, yeah, like I said, every every week that I that I tune in uh, and listen to recordings when I'm driving or if I'm doing the dishes, I'll sit, I'll put something on because I want to be able to share this with other people because so many other people are suffering and hurting and need support. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a passion of mine, of course, to do lots of research and find out uh, the best products in the world to help and support people. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's, you know, one little thing that I wanted to add is just to keep tuning in and learn a little bit more each time and eventually it'll all click. Yeah, great, Marsha. I think uh, with the Eternity product too, Kurt, it's worth mentioning, you know, we've got uh, once the bottle's been cracked, it says 30 days is how long the um, resveratrol remains, um, you know, active for because after that this, it's been too long exposed uh, to air and so therefore, you know, you do need to consume it within the 30 days. And, Kurt, can you just mention quickly the process of how they, um, you know, vacuum seal the bottle so that, you know, our resveratrol is maintained in the Eternity product? You bet. Well, I already described that with, you know, when they reverse fill it with nitrogen, you bet. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really important too. So, um, yeah, you know, you're getting a great product and, uh, you know, you can hold it in your mouth. I love the fact that if you hold it in your mouth for, uh, you know, how long do they recommend, Kurt? Is it a minute? Well, what, what I tell people when they're using the product, take your uh, shot glass with the, uh, with, the, with the product in it and just take a little sip and swish it around your mouth for about 20 seconds, then take and swallow that, then take another little sip, swish it around in your mouth and uh, and swallow that. And then do that until you've consumed the entire amount because resveratrol, unlike like say fucoidin, resveratrol needs to be absorbed through the mucosal membrane and it absorbs quicker. And resveratrol is actually destroyed by, by the stomach acid, just like vitamin B3, like nicotinamide riboside. And so that's why you want to do it that way so that it, that it has it has those benefits. Okay, great. Thank you. That's that's all I had to add. Thank you. That's fabulous. Mm. I found that point. very useful. Thank you, Kurt. Um, the resveratrol story, you know, why our products are superior to others. And um, I wish I could have you on chat because I'm a little bit nervous with what I've got coming up with my presentations because... Um, I'm going to try to run something that I haven't done before. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, well Ian said, like Ian said, that's that's what you want to do, Margaret, is you want to expand your horizon. You want to do things that you've never done before because now you'll stretch your brain just like a rubber band. It'll never go back <laughs> to, the, to the original size. Great. Nothing, nothing changes. <laughs> it's really, really good to step out because um, we all learn every day about things. I think if you weren't nervous about something in the beginning, then you're not, not really being a human being. Everybody has a little bit of nervousness about what they're doing. Um, and you should just step out, do what you do, and be, be really good at what you do at the end. So, be bold. Learning process. That's be right. bold. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look, when I first started in the industry, uh, I have a, a, a very technical background, um, probably a really quiet person. Um, but I know when I stepped out on a stage with about two and a half thousand people in front of me, yeah. it was a really daunting episode for me. Um, but you know what? You have little things in your mind to say, look, all these people are just like me. You know, they're just sitting there. They're just wanting to learn. They're wanting to hear what you have to say. Because they wouldn't be there if, if they didn't want to hear what you wanted to say. So just remember that people who come to your your meetings are there for a reason. They're there to, to actually pick up on what you have to say. So just be really, you know, <laughs> just take it really easy, chill out, you know, have a have a cup of tea or something or have a bit of whatever and then just <laughs> go ahead and do it, you know. It's, it's, there's nothing in it. It's just we're all the same, you know. That's right. Uh, Great. You, Thank you. Pardon? Thank you. That's great input. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, um, I think it's, you know, this industry, when I first started, I know that, you know, I was probably a little bit, um, I have a scientific and engineering background and, you know, you, you need to be shown everything about products, you know, you have to have proof and whatever else. And, 
you know, sometimes in the products that we offer, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not at that. So I, you just need to have faith in the fact is that, you know, Tom and his his crew are really there with it. And and some of the stuff that comes out with him, like the, as, as Kurt presented today, there's, there's research that Tom uses. You know that it's, you know, it has efficacy, it has all the good things. And, and the other thing is that using the product is yourself is where you actually get the most credibility out of it, I think. And um, just to put my story back a bit is that 30 years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. And so it was a bit of a daunting episode for me. And uh, fortunately, I was able to get over it and whatever. But what happened then was that somebody introduced me to another product, which was Tom's product. And it was really good in those days. So ever since then, I've been using all these products. And I take this this story that I have and I present it to people um, who who uh, maybe have a little bit of a doubt about how it was. So, and they look at me now and I think, well, you know, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still growing and I, and I really don't get sick very often at all now. So I take all these products um, and, and the products that Tom's presenting now, I think are, are far superior to what we were using in the past. Um, so it's, um, you know, I suppose we used to pick on people. We used to take people like, you know, um, I don't know if you ever heard of Brian Epstein, the toxicologist. We used to have him and, and into meetings and he would uh, you know, present from a, a topological point of view the, the the brilliant products that we Tom was producing, no toxins, you know, very safe, you know, the whole thing. And so that, that added credibility to our story as well. So... But just, yeah, Margaret, get out there and just do it. It's really, it's really, a, you'll be so grateful that you've done it to yourself because it is a wonderful feeling to help other people. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, everyone, you know, I know we've used up a lot of time. And for those of you that have been stayed with us the whole uh, hour, and I appreciate that. For those of you that are listening to the recording, you know, thanks for listening and and, and uh, uh, paying attention. I hope that we were able to help you understand a little bit more about why we're here. Why would we take, you know, here it's a Friday night uh, up in up in uh, America, United States here, and and I'm spending my time with all of you and and why all all of you from down in Australia are getting up early and jumping on and, and sharing it. It's because it's important. If we can help one person, if this video helps one person, we did our job. So thank you, Great. all of you, for being here. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Thanks Margaret. Thank Thanks, you, Ian. Thanks, Marsha. Yeah. See you next Good time. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Good day. <laughs>